Well, hey everybody, it's Tom here. It's that time of year again. It is Memorial Day weekend. We are down here in Hillsville, Virginia for the annual Memorial Day weekend swap meet and flea market. So if you guys have seen my videos in the past, you know that the Memorial Day weekend event is not as large as the Labor Day weekend event, but it's still worth coming. We still pick up some, you know, trinkets and knickknacks. And seeing that I had the shop fire, you know, I need to replace a lot of stuff. So we'll see what we can find. So I'll take you guys along. But that's just a view of one of the fields that we'll be uh, wandering through and seeing what they got. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Gotta get away from the music. <laughs> See if I can talk over this so I don't get a copyright strike. Probably not. I hate it when they play the music. Oh well. Ah. Pretty cool signs. Some of these are reproduction, some of these are original. That big Sinclair, that's a repop. Put 
that's a real gulf if it's porcelain or not. That's pretty cool. Big old squirrel cage fan. That'll keep you cool in the shop. See, the guy still has the Gerstner hit and sold it.
Sağlamışım ya. Hmm. Couple cool wrenches. There you go, it's a double ended diamond. Hundred and twenty five dollars. Ouch. Alligator wrench. <sighs> Big Kennedy box. Sixty bucks. That's a pretty good price. Yeah, let me sit you down and go through this. This bad boy, a hand winch.
Huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Trying to see a maker's mark. AA301. Hmm. Machine of stuff. Did you tell me he's there? Five bucks a piece? Is that what you told me? Yeah. I'm going to get those. I just, I just had to do some wooden key, keys and some, uh, some keyways. I do the brooch for our, our shop too. <laughs> For our different parts, internal brooches. Yeah, 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 yeah. We do. Danny, he does some brooching for us sometimes too. Y'all got a? What y'all do with? Y'all got a press? You only do one or two parts? Yeah, it probably is the press type, the successive. Type. Yeah, I mean we'll do a hundred, hundred parts at a time. So I was doing with a, with a heavy <laughs> seven-ton grinder. <laughs> wrong way to do it. Well, well, that's what I. That's what I, Arbor. Press. Well, I took a log split. I said, there's got to be a better way. So I had, we got we had 2020 lock splitter for splitting wood. I took the head off that thing, made me a stand. I had enough travel and used a log splitter. Huh. A 20 ton log splitter to push a 3 8 brooch through a through three inches of 304 stainless like nothing idles through. That's the way to go. Set me up a little pump. We, we, we I had, put the foot in and we a had pan. something like that at a shop I worked at in Texas. Yeah. It would press like 100. Mm. But it was, it was only this wide. So, a little do more. Tool post grinder. Got another <laughs> Criterion 203. When it rains, it pours, right? It's nice talking to you, man. Okay, what's your name? Jonathan. Flex Collins. Angle plate. Hate to carry that around today, though. That's a heck of a square. Tail stock. Machinery's handbook. Wonder how much he wants for that. If I can pick that up cheap for somebody.
Okay, so we're over here at the VFW. Hopefully I have a little better luck. Where we just came from, it seemed like every third vendor was playing music, so I couldn't get to a lot of video footage. Sorry about that. But uh, like I said, hopefully I have better luck over here for you guys. Some liquors. That's pretty cool. Hey guys, it's the next day, so I figured to do a recap and show you all the goodies that I got. Um, video is a little choppy, it's not as smooth as I'd like it. This time it just seemed like, I don't know, every second or third vendor had a radio playing in their booth or in the background, so it made it very difficult to try to film without picking up that music so I don't get a copyright strike. So, um, you know, that's the best I can do at this time, you know. I don't don't know what else to say. I don't really want to do a voiceover. I mean, I, you know, that kind of kills the video. You want to, you know, hear the stuff going on, and you know, and be able to just, uh, you know, feel the excitement of the event. So that's why I like to use the real audio. Uh, I did find a few trinkets. Uh, the wife didn't find much this time, but uh, it was still fun, still worthwhile. So let me get the camera turned around, and I'll uh, show you what I picked up. I got these uh, three items from one of the booths that I uh, normally, you know, patronize. They usually have some good stuff. I picked up this cool metal can of Sterrett Tool and Instrument Oil, and it's even about uh, a third full, so that's a bonus. Uh, he wanted 20 bucks for it, which you know, it's okay. So I paid that because he gave me a deal on the funnel. This is a nice aluminum funnel. He only gave me a uh, price of three dollars, so I was like, "Yeah, I'll grab that." And this nice big oil can. You know, I like the Phillips 66 stuff. I got a Phillips 66 themed gas pump in my shop, office, and also a bunch of old 
refill 66 oil cans so this will go perfect with the collection and I gave 30 bucks for that which I thought is reasonable being that it's in really good shape and it's a larger one my regular machinist tool vendor was there so I was happy to see him and I found a few good scores so I got this nice criterion 203 so this is a three inch boring head takes three quarter inch tooling um, it does have a Morris taper number three on it which doesn't do me any good so I have to get this off and either go straight shank um, so that would make it versatile for both bore, uh, milling machines or if I just go R8 then it would be you know obviously dedicated to the vertical machine so not sure but happy to find that also picked up a couple end mills here. This is a Niagara three fluter, three quarter by three quarter, high speed steel, high helix. Nice beauty, never used. And also got this carbide, big daddy here, high helix. I mean, look at that, six fluter. She looks hungry, I bet she'll chew some serious material it's overall length four inches and what is that about three quarter inch <clears throat> and this is made by quality carbide tool in usa so both good old usa made end mills i always pick these up uh, when i can find a good price on them especially the bigger sizes and lastly he had a bunch of punches i picked one up so it's a mayhew 5 sixteenths, number 415 and got a four foot scale here or a ruler got this big daddy here can't get the whole thing in frame so I'll just uh, you know pan through it what's nice about this is it's about uh, I don't know 5 sixteenths thick so perfect for the welding table when you got gloves on you can grab it and pick it up and use it you know nothing nothing worse than the skinny ones you know and you can't grab them so tickled to have this don't have a maker's mark this is the only thing that's on it here so he charged me 140 bucks for this whole group here which i thought was a really good deal so happy to get all this stuff and i appreciate it nothing fancy here just picked up some brushes stainless steel brass and then a uh, fiber so good to always have extra brushes around I was looking for signage because I lost a lot of my signs and posters in the fire didn't find much that I liked I did pick up this one you guys know I'm a Jeep guy since I got an old CJ so I can put this on the uh, outside office wall and 10 bucks not a bad buy a couple of random scores here got another shackle I always pick these up when I can find them in good shape and when they're cheap this looks like uh, let's see what's that three and a quarter working ton so we can use this on the gantry crane and a pencil sharpener that looks like it has never been used so excellent I had one in the uh, shop office and it kind of melted it had a plastic body so able to replace this this is three dollars and I, think was, I got this for ten so a couple good scores there picked up this old school and you can either hang it I guess or clip it work light And of course the plug out of date it. So yeah, an old two pronger there, but it's got a nice long cord. So it's got a strain relief here. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hang it uh, over the Sterling drill grinder. So I think that'd be pretty cool and kind of go with the theme over there. So guy wanted eight dollars and I was like, yep, I'm happy to pay that. And last item I got was this nice heavy solid pewter bowl 
marked down to fifteen dollars. Nice size too. What are you talking? Nine inches in diameter, maybe. So it may become <laughs> Chaos's water bowl, or I may use it. I don't know for you know using tool black liquid or whatever the case may be. But you know, <clears throat> I figured it uh, was a probably pretty good deal. So I better go ahead and grab it and you know add it to the shop arsenal. I think that's gonna be a wrap. I appreciate you watching the video. Thumbs up are always appreciated. Uh, leave a comment. And the Labor Day flea market, you know, like I said, is a larger one. Of course, I'll bring the GoPro around and uh, we'll do it again and we'll see what we can find. And, you know, hopefully you guys will enjoy that one too. So until next time, take care. Bye.